I'm going to quickly run through the three sections that we've got here. In fact, I'm actually only going to show you the first two because the third one's pretty self-explanatory. So firstly, the activation code section. If I click on this button here, it will show me a list of all the activation codes that I've ever generated on my account. Um, so it shows the code, the date issued, the status of the code, and how many redemptions. So of course, clicking on these headers here, I could sort them in the uh, the dates, etc., that I want to to, to, to view. Um, the manage code groups. This is a section that allows you to download um, your list of promotional codes generated for your account in a CSV format. So if you need to import this data into uh, some kind of system, billing system or other legacy system, then you're able to do that from here. Then you've got the code report simple. The code report simple is um, just a quick overview of your account as a whole and shows um, how many activation codes have been created, how many redemptions are permitted, how many actual redemptions, how many you have remaining. Um, it also shows your quick country overview where the codes are being redeemed. Um, in addition, there's a quick look at um, some certain time periods when codes were redeemed as well. Uh, just gives you an idea of uh, the, the, the activity for your codes. Then you've got the code report advanced. The code report advanced, again, on the left hand side has a quick overview um, of your account. Then on the right hand side, we've got a little bit more advanced features whereby you can search for certain uh, details about your code between different dates. So in this case, if you wanted to know how many accounts, how many account activation codes were redeemed between this date and that date, you select the radio button, click show report, and it will show you the codes. So then of course, when you click on these details here, it will jump you through to some of the details um, you know, about the code itself. There's another little feature which we need to show you, which is uh, the active, how many accounts are active between a certain date. So this will show you um, uh, the user ID, the code used, the data was activated, and this will show you how much space the user is using and the limit that they have and how many devices they've had. So clicking on these will, will send you through to the code details. This will send you through to the user details where you get a little bit more information about them. So that's the, uh, the activation code section. The web tools, uh, this is more for white labeling um, services. So um, in the case that you want to have the uh, your own custom logo at the top here. Normally what would appear here is the Cellulite logo. logo. Uh, in this case, because I've activated the white label settings, um, the lo this, this, this test logo will appear across the website and in any emails that um, are sent to any of the clients. So uh, inside here, the white label settings, very easy to change. The logos, you simply um, click through till you get to the to the actual stuff that you need to edit. We've got a website header logo, an email logo, an email header logo. So we can host these, although these images can be hosted um, on, on any server anywhere. We'll, our system will pick them up and import them. So going back to the home page, the white label referrer link. This link is essentially a link that you would that would use on a on a forwarding domain or to send to give to customers directly in order for them to land on the Cellulite website with the custom logo. Okay, so each uh, distributor has a different ID number. In this case, it's number 14. Um, uh, so, you, you know, we give that out. You could put that in a DNS as a, C, uh, uh, as, as a forwarding address. So you could have something like yourtelecomcompany.com and it would forward automatically to this URL after which it would uh, display the logo. Then we've got the API services here. API services, in order to access our web services, you need a key. All the keys are stored in here. Um, so uh, you can also see API logs. So we, 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 anything to do with the API, we log um, in, in the database in order for troubleshooting purposes. So at any time, your developers can log in and, and see um, certain transactions that are happening. It's also good for us if there's a trouble, an issue somewhere, we can troubleshoot very quickly just by looking into the logs. So that's the um, the distributors dashboard. Oh, one more one more item that I wanted to point out is on on the home page here. We have the the activation code search. So you can enter in an activation code here, 
and um, you can do a quick search to, 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 to see the details about the, uh, the activation code. Well, that's it. That's the distributor's um, uh, control panel in a, in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions, uh, my name is Craig, uh, Craig at Cellulite, but there's also an email address, support at Cellulite. If you drop an email to that, we'll be happy to answer any questions.